Good morning and welcome, I suppose, welcome back to Thought for the Day after it's taken a bit of a summer break. Um, it's really good to be back just to offer a, a short thought, a short reflection uh, for myself on a Monday morning and just to say, well, as part of this thought, really, it's about returning to things. And so as we come back from the school summer holidays, um, there will be um, a Zoom online evening prayer this evening and things like that will start to return. It's been really interesting um, coming back and yesterday starting back into a service pattern which had a 9.30 service at All Saints and an 11 o'clock service at St James. As I was reflecting it's 500 and something days since we had that, I call it traditional service pattern in the two churches. We've been meeting as community as the benefits the two churches together through August and it's been lovely at the services that I've been at when I wasn't at, on holiday to see so many from each church sharing worship together. And so now we move into this sort of renewed season because it's not all new, it's what we've kind of known a little bit before maybe. And I'm minded in the rebuilding of things, of the words of Nehemiah in the Bible, Nehemiah who came out of or brought the Jews out of exile back to Jerusalem and saw that the walls were torn down and wanted to rebuild the holy city of Jerusalem. And there's a lesson about rebuilding quickly there because it took an astonishingly short length of time to put working walls back around Jerusalem and he had each family working on the bit in front of where they lived. Perhaps there's a lesson there as we seek to rebuild our impact in our community, to start with the place where each of us lives. And he had lots of people working in parallel and it got done much quicker. The alternative is a very few people doing a bit at a time and that makes it slower. And we'll see how we progress in our rebuilding as the church, as we'll say the Church of England part of the church here in our parishes. And as the wall was rebuilt around Jerusalem, I'm quite sure that it didn't look exactly the same as the one that had been torn down as the Hebrews were taken, as the Israelite people were taken into exile. Different stones would have been in different places. Things would have looked slightly different. New bits would have been had to be grafted in and all sorts of things like that. And so we can expect to see that as we to restore ourselves as we come back, not just into definitely the same fixed patterns, but into new ways. It was a joy yesterday with a little children's area in the corner of All Saints Church to hear the life of the families enjoying activities related to our service there. It's been lovely to welcome baptism families to see all sorts of different things, see new people at both of our churches. What a humbling joy it is to start seeing this rebuild take place. And hand in hand with rebuilding, it's interesting, someone said to me yesterday, oh Richard, I remember you used to. Now I've been here less than two years and already in my ministry here, there, have, there are some things that I used to that I haven't done. And actually the used to was about walking around being out and going live on Facebook with prayers and things like that. We used to see you on Facebook walking around the parish. And it's good when people remind us of that because sometimes it reminds us just of a good thing that was rightly laid down, but probably in that case, a thing that has been lost unintentionally and perhaps needs to come back. So as we move into a new school year, and I pray that all the school children starting new schools or back to their schools in new years will settle in really quickly. As we move into this new school year, let it be a season of rebuilding in the church. Let it be a season of rebuilding in our communities and our place in our communities. So start with the bits in front of you. Each and every apprentice, follower, believer in Jesus, the bit in front of you, build that up. And let's see what God has in store for this new season. Have a great week. Enjoy the sunshine if you can of the next few days. I'd hope it's not too hot for you. 
Um, one thing I really need to do on reflection is get a haircut. God bless and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.